Hey guys, it's Truma Tai. Welcome to my channel. So today, if you want to learn a simple technique to do your eyeshadow, very beginner friendly, then definitely stay tuned. So guys, let's just please ignore the fact that I'm missing two press on nails. We are still about to do this tutorial. Let us get into it. So before I start my makeup tutorials, usually I go ahead and spray this. Sp spritz. Shit just went in my eyes. <laughs> usually I go ahead and spray this spritz just to freshen up the atmosphere. And it smells delicious. So I already did my brows, I'm going in now to prime my eyelids. For this, you can either use the concealer of your choice or an eyeshadow primer. I'm going in with the Illegal Concealer in the shade Fawn. I'm not going to set this but usually you can especially if you are a beginner. I use a brush to make sure I blend that out perfectly and you can also use your fingers if you choose. So these are where we will be placing the eyeshadows on the upper crease area where we place our transition shades. These shades are usually a soft blendable color. The outer crease or the outer V area where we place our darker shades and the lid area where we're going to place our inner shades. I'm going to go ahead and repeat. We are going to be placing the first shades on the upper crease area. This is where we place our transition shades. We're going to be placing we are going to be placing sorry our second color on the outer V area and our third color on the middle of the lid. So today I'm going to be using this Nika K palette. This is a new one, guys. Beautiful palette. And if I'm the only one who smells the new palette, then I'm crazy. So it's very, very gorgeous, guys. I just love the range of colors. I love the shimmer shades together with the neutral shades. They are perfect. And I love Nika K products because usually like the high-end brands, their eyeshadows are always pigmented AF guys. So for transition shades, we go in with these lighter colors. You can use these lighter colors on the upper crease of the eye or the outer crease. We can use these dark shades. And on the lid, we are going to use any of these shimmer sheets. So you can mix and match them however you feel like. So we're going in with this shade as our transition shade. This darker plum shade as our outer corner shade. And this um, wonderful gold shimmer shade as our lid color. So to place down our first transition shade, we are going to go in with a small fluffy crease brush similar to this similar to this as well or any one of these the brush that we use has to be able to properly disperse the color over the lid so that we can blend it seamlessly so for my outer crease area i'm going to go ahead with a smaller brush just so i can focus that shade on my outer crease while blending it inwards back and forth For my lid area, I'm going to go in with this flat brush. This will probably help me spread out the shimmer shade. I can also go in with my finger if I choose. For the lid, we can also use brushes like these. If we are going in with matte shades, pigments, or any glitter on the eyelid. Now that we understand exactly what we are doing, let's get into this. Make sure you tap off any excess and then gently press the color onto the lid before swiping it all around you can always build up the color as you go also make sure that you don't go too high up to the brow bone area you remain within the upper crease Now I'll be going in with that dark plum color into my outer V area. I'll be tapping that color in and gently swiping it midway of my eye. I'm not going all the way into the inner corner. This is where our uh, shimmer shade on our lid has to go. I gently blend the color upwards as I go and disperse it within that area on the eyelid. 
blend out the edges i go in with the first transition shade this is to blend out any harsh lines so we can't see where our first color begins and our last color ends You will see me go back in from time to time just to touch up the color because I may have lost some during blending and then I will go over it again with that transition shade over the edges. By doing this, we will have created the perfect blend for our eyeshadow. Lastly, I'm going to go in with that shimmer shade and the brush that I showed you guys earlier and just swipe that color onto my lid. Look at how easy this was. So because I am blessed with hooded eyes, I'm going to just bring that lid shade a little bit above my natural crease so that it will show through when I look straight ahead. To blend out the edges on the lid color, I'm going to go in with that first brush that I use with little to no product and just blend it back and forth to remove any harsh lines. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the exact same steps on the other eye. Next, I'm going to go in with a simple liner, not anything too fancy, just a line closest to my lash line, neat and very, very straight. Afterwards, I follow up with some mascara just to coat my natural lashes. You can absolutely choose to stop right here with this eye look, but for me, I'm going to go in with some lashes. I love wearing lashes. I believe lashes complete every look, and these lashes are totally giving me diva vibes. So for me, I usually finish up my eye look when I'm done setting my face. I go in with a black bottom liner or a white liner, guys. If you have sensitive eyes like myself, make sure you go in with a wedge to open up your bottom lid before you go ahead and place the liner. Trust me, this helps out so much. Next, I'm going to go in with the two eyeshadows that I used on the upper lid and this thin brush just to tie in the eyeshadow look on the eye. I'm blending out the eyeshadows the same way that I did to the top of the lid so everything looks equal. This step is very much optional, you do not have to do this, but I tend to go in with some highlights, so just a little towards my brow bone and inner eye area just to brighten up my eyes and tie the whole look together. So last but not least, guys, we go in with mascara and coat our bottom lashes to make sure everything looks crisp and very, very beautiful. So this is the final look, guys. How did I do? Ah. 
so guys thank you so very much for watching make sure you like and share this video with someone who would love to know these simple techniques if they are a beginner also make sure you leave something down in the comment section give me any suggestions as to what you might want to know if you learn anything from this video please let me know as well guys also make sure that you subscribe like why aren't you guys subscribed already why i hope you guys will stay tuned for more videos coming up from me guys make sure you hit that notification bell and stay tuned